Good morning. So I'm at a state park just north of Goldendale, about 10 miles, Goldendale, Washington. And in the Project M for the second night ever. But there is my bed. And down here, I'm making my files from yesterday. And I got the battery pack there. I've used like half the battery pack between copying files, making the videos, charging my phone. So I probably have to plug it into the power at the campground here. I ended up paying $45 for this site, but I got two of the four lights on. And my smoke detector came off. I broke it. It's over there. And one of the tabs broke. I can, it'll still fit with one tab, I think, but not a big deal. But that's done. So I think I need to bring my REI pad. This one is just uh, soft enough. But it is about 60 degrees and 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm going to try and go back to sleep. And I get up and go to the restroom, and I was like, I might as well do some work. But I will get some video tomorrow morning of the park. Good morning. So I am up. There's my spot. I have a little structure you can sleep in. Pretty cool. So those power lines you could hear crackling if you get too close. Otherwise I would have picked a spot up there. But pretty neat place. All right, we are packed up just like that. I didn't have time to charge my battery pack. But I'm gonna do a quick drive through the campground to show you what it looks like. Oh, it was a nice place. Very quiet, bathroom's awesome. So I want to show you where I almost camped. But it was not by the flush bathroom toilets, it was had a vault toilet. And I could have camped there. The other reason was there was a lot of mosquitoes. So basically, it was down this way. So to my right are like 10 spots for cars. And those are $27. I ended up paying $45. It was worth it though. Make a U-turn if possible. Route guidance is now finished. drive back here the first time you you see all the stuff on the right and you wonder like is this the campground because there's all these houses so close to it all right so we go this way again they have these little white structures you could set your cot up in if you don't have a tent really neat so here's the vault toilet so I almost camped Oh, in spot 44 right here. 
I almost camped in this guy. But there's a creek right behind it and the mosquitoes were really bad. But look how private it is. I mean, that would have been cool. And there's trails going off. Here, you can see a trail by spot 45. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty private back here. It would have been kind of scary, actually, because there's a bear. They had a bear with a with a cub and a mountain lion wandering around the campground this year. Safety in numbers. But now I'll show you the backside of where I camped. And we are headed to McDonald's and the gas station when I leave here about 10 miles away in Goldendale. I'm not gonna drive through the tent spot. It's a dusty road and very close to trees. I did it last night, not again. Yeah. I just wanted you to be aware though, there's major power lines going through this campground. If you do not like that, you probably don't want to stay here. They have a big old fir tree down to the right here. Two vans right here. I almost camped over here. And spot 21 here. Oh god, there's an apple tree right behind that spot. Probably good I didn't. They would have been full of bees and bugs. And this is the beginning. So in the front here, is the day use area. They have picnic tables and grills. And then it was 52 degrees. So it got down to like 50. And I was pretty comfortable. So the other side of the road has the bulk of the hiking trails and they're all closed because of high fire danger. There's actually three, four, five miles of hiking here probably. But that was Brooks Memorial State Park, 10 miles north of Goldendale approximately. And um, I will start filming again once we get to Highway 97 in Oregon. You know what? 